Facebook started off as The Facebook, initially limiting the membership for Harvard University students in 2004. Later in 2005, they expanded to various other universities in the U.S. and eventually to high school students. With the signature blue color scheme, the login screen is placed on the top left side of the page. Now the site is open to a lot of schools, while still being limited in access for some. In the middle, there is a quick description of Facebook as an online directory. Take a look at the right side of the header and the footer of the page. As in 2006, Facebook goes through one of the most dramatic historical changes. It drops the the and becomes Facebook. In the footer, the content and announce have been removed. While in the header, FAQ is replaced by help. Although the format of the web page remains unchanged in May 2006, a big textual change has been made. Open to a lot of schools has been replaced by open to a lot of places. This marks an important step for Facebook as there are no longer two versions of it. Furthermore, the ways to use Facebook has expanded from merely looking up and finding people you know, to making groups and events with your friends. In the footer, the press tab has also been added. Eventually a couple of months later in September, Facebook was opened up to anyone who claimed to be at least 13 years old to become a registered user. In October 2006, Facebook went through a major textual reconstruction where it began to promote itself as a social utility from an online directory reinforcing the notion of community. Moreover, there is a shift from connecting people to connecting you to build a social network, such as schools, companies, and regions as specified. The developer section has been added with a login and register buttons enlarged. In 2007, Microsoft purchased a share of Facebook which signaled the beginning of it becoming the social media giant. And in June 2008, Facebook returned with a larger logo, registration window has been added, with full name, your email, new password, and birthday drop-down menu. A friend finder has been introduced, as well as a drop-down of selecting different languages in the footer. In November 2008, there has been a complete side revampment where the footer has now disappeared and the login window is placed in the header. A world map is added on the left with no particular frames at the background. A new description is written in large and bold on top from Facebook is a social utility that connects you with the people around you to Facebook helps you connect and share with the people in your life. A drop-down menu for one sex has been added to the required list of registration. Action list as well as language section in the footer have been dropped. While there hasn't been any pronounced changes in the past few years, in June 2013, Facebook undergoes another major site revamping. The world map is replaced by a list of the Facebook's key functions, the newsfeed, timeline, graph search, and messenger, which in fact nostalgically remind users of its old design. The sign-up window is further enlarged, and gender is now only a binary option. The agreement to terms and conditions description has been added, as well as a full list of available languages in the footer. In August 2018, Facebook has maintained its design with a subtle change in font type and size while simplifying the layout by condensing the functions to three elements. 
Moreover, it now allows mobile number to be added for registration alongside one's email. Facebook continues to create minute changes in its format which are normally not noticed by the users. So, how does today's face of Facebook looks like?